Hello everybody and welcome back to Triple F UK. I'm going to be fishing what I believe to be the best mark along the whole of the east coast of the UK. Now that is serious, that is a bold statement that I'm putting out there, but I genuinely believe it to be true. I have been waiting for months now to have good conditions and today we have them. Sun's out. The mark that I'm going to be fishing today are some premium, premium fishing ground. For the safety of the viewers, I'm not going to tell you where I'm fishing today because I do not want anybody to come out here and attempt to climb this and get to the area that I'll be fishing today because there is a lot of risk involved. Currently, I've got about a half an hour walk in front of me to get to where I'm going to be fishing. Already, where I've parked is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. There is nobody about, barely any footpaths about. I'm not going to be on footpaths for a lot of this today. Most people seriously do not even know about this area. If they know about this area, they would not even dream about fishing it. This is how extreme this place is that I'm going to be fishing today. It is essentially a spit, which is probably about 200 to 250 meters long. It takes you directly out into the open ocean. You are literally fishing literally what may as well be a pier you are fishing what may as well be a naturally made pier there is a serious climb to get down to it it is hands and knees the whole way literal rock climbs to get there i have been down probably five times now over the winter just to get the route sorted out now i've fully sussed out the route i know exactly the way which you actually need to take to get there because there aren't many routes you can take to get there and we're going to be getting out right at the end. We're going to be fishing it for hours today. We're literally going to be there all day. Stick around for this one today, guys, as this one's going to be serious. We should be seeing some really nice pollock, really nice cod in numbers as well. Maybe even some mackerel. So stick around for this. Enjoy this video. Peace out. I'll catch up with you when we get to the start of this climb. All right then guys, so the plan is we're heading down here to go the whole way along this coastline. That is where I'm going to be heading to. You can see there is a boy at the end there, which means there is a lobster pot out in front of where I want to be fishing. It's fine though, we've got pretty much 360 degrees worth of casting range out there. All right, we're pretty much at the bottom now. That's our final destination. I'm gonna get there, right to the end. And the route is to go over here, down. We're going over these rocks, over along the top there. I'm trying to line my finger up here. Then it takes you down. And then we're kind of going round the side here, up and over, and to the end. This is the other side, kind of the same crack, very steep. But as I said, I've done this about five times now, so I know the route and I know the techniques to get over the routes. So this is the worst of it here. I get a cool, a cool GoPro shot up here. All right, then, guys. That is the worst of it over. 
<laughs> that certainly gets your heart beating. That is what I've come down up from that big rock right at the back there. Down that bloody thing. It's absolutely brutal. Uh, just to give you a bit of context here, this is what I'm seeing at the moment. One side and the other side. All I've got to do now is a little bit of rock climbing. That's kind of the deadly bit over, but now we've got the climbing area. Take a look at how deep that's getting there, guys. That is serious. This is seriously deep. Just look how far we are out. Oh, yes. Now, this is the main climb. It is up there and over the top. Let's get up. Let's see where we're going to be fishing. Over here. Right. Get in there now, guys. So I'm going to be fishing off just the end there. Look at that. Look at the grounds. Yes. There go the shags. But here we are. We've made it. We have actually survived. <laughs> right. You can see there. That's what I've come across and here we are just look how far we are out here this is literally so good this honestly doesn't get much better than this so i'm going to do today i'm going to be fishing metals soft plastics i'm going to be fishing jellies spinners the lot we're going to give everything a go see what's working we might struggle to get back at high tide now we're about two hours after low tide now this has taken me two hours to get along so I'm um, later than I would have liked, but it's so, so worth it. I reckon that we can squeeze probably four hours of fishing in here before we'll have to leave due to high tide. If I get stuck out on this rock due to high tide, I'm fine with it. I'll stay here for another six hours until it starts to drop again. I'll just fish all day long if I have to. All right then guys, we're ready. Finally, down here, I've got my tripod up and running, so Hopefully, we can catch while that's going. First cast. Okay, so just the usual technique out here today. Fishing the bottom, always the bottom. These metals, they sink nice and quick so we can get a fairly quick cast speed out. Now, I've just let this razor claw sink and it has just taken about 25 seconds. <laughs> this is the deepest water I've ever fished. Also, I'm using my new rod today. This is the Abu Garcia Beast Pro. This is actually a pike rod rather than a proper sea fishing rod. I'm going to get myself a sea fishing rod soon. This is weighted, I believe it, I think it's like 50 to 100, 40 to 100 grams. And this has never had a fish on it before, so I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to christen this rod today. Fish on here, guys. First one of the day. It's definitely not a monster. It might be a coley. I don't know. I don't know if we've got coleys here at the moment, but let's have a look. It's definitely not a monster. It doesn't feel like a mackerel, but... Hey, a fish is a fish. I've not been here long. This is the first fish on this rod as well. It's looking like a coley. There we go. Look at that shining. We have mackerel. Ah, oh, that's a small mackerel. I haven't seen mackerel this size yet this year. So, wow. Anyway, there we go, guys. First fish. Lovely little mack. Well, there we go. Definitely happy to get on the board at least. Take a little mackerel. That was only about five to seven minutes into the session. So... We'll take some more of them. Look at this, guys. There's a dolphin directly in front of me. Literally, he's 10 meters out. He's just... See that swell there? That's a, there they are! Yes! Wow! There we go! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, my God! Look at... There's three of them right there. Oh, that's worth coming down here for. Look at that. I've never been so close to dolphins before. And there is a huge pod of them. Oh, that's stunning. All right, then. Right, I've come up here. I do not want to get swept away by that swell, so moved all my stuff up to a safer area. Yeah, we've got a bit of ground that we can fish in here, actually. This pot isn't too bad. We're straight on a snag. There must be pots down there. That is very annoying. Well, there goes a sand deal. 
Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down, just fish off of here for a little bit because my prediction is, my little theory that I've got going on here is that it is actually a really sandy smooth bottom out here. As deep as it is and as far out as we can get, I think the ground is not the best for the fish. Um, I still think there will be fish coming in, coming through here, so I still think we'll catch, but I just don't think it is a great area for the fish to actually live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cast into these rocks as Cod and Pollock do like to live in rocks very often. <laughs> right, we've made it. I'm going to have to be quick here because that's going to fill up quick. Seeing all the wildlife today. Look at that seal right there. He's going to come back up. He's probably going to be watching me for the rest of the day now. This is what they normally do. Oh my god, look at it. It's quite a small seal. <laughs> He's very curious, isn't he? I'll give him a feed if we catch him on mackerel. Alright, this is what I'm changing over to. This is a weedless. Shelly, looks nice. Let's see if we can get some fish. Ah. It's going to be an expensive day today, guys. Lost them. Yeah, I've lost them. There we go, guys. Finally got a fish on. I'm pretty sure this is just a mackerel. This is a first cast with a razor claw. This will be a mackerel. So I've been losing a lot of sand eels. Uh, maybe I'm just not getting quite enough range with them. They're quite tricky to fish, the sand eels are, because the water's so deep. That's a slightly better mackerel. It's a little bit risky, but there we go. That's a, that's a nice mackerel. All right, I'm happy with that now. All right, nice. Right, nice. That's a good mackerel. Not very surprised to see mackerel out here. Um, they're not really the fish that I'm targeting today. I really would love to catch cod and pollock, but I'll take them. They definitely save a blank, so... And obviously, they're lovely to eat, so... I'm not complaining about a few mackerel, but... I mean, I haven't really come all this way out to catch mackerel. Um, cod and pollock, which I'm after. There we go. This might not be a mackerel, actually. I think we're on here, guys. I think we're on a pollock. It's a pollock! Yes! There we go! Wow, he was fighting! Lovely! There we go, guys! Beautiful pollock! That is a stunning fish! There we go, guys! There we go! I'm not even going to get the camera out for this. Look at that! Stunning pollock! This is a very dark pollock, this one, guys. You can just see there. This has been living in the kelp. Right, let's get her back. Get down a little bit and we'll get the release here. Oh, beautiful. So happy we've got this now, guys. This is taking a while now, but what a beautiful fish. Let's get her back. Oh, guys, another one. This was literally nipping. No! Oh, that felt all right. Damn it. Oh, that's a bit gutting. Oh, man. That fish was literally nipping and nipping and nipping at it. I had about 10 goes at it, literally. And finally I managed to get it hooked up, but that felt all right. Damn. Oh, let's hope there's more down here. There we go. Fish. Doesn't feel too bad. It's close in already. It feels all right. Oh, it's just nipping it. Oh, there we go. What are we on? Oh, it's side hooks. Oh, wow, side hooked collie. Oh, we'll take him. Here we go, guys. We're back on. This feels a little bit better. I don't know if there's just weed on there or what, but this is it's quite heavy, this. Right, it's definitely not mackerel. Ah. <laughs> it's a mackerel. <laughs> It's a big mackerel, but it's a mackerel. <laughs> we'll take a mackerel. 
There we go, we're back on guys. This one actually feels better. This isn't a back row. This feels better. Don't know what we have yet, but this is... No! It's come off again! That was a big fish. Oh, I've lost two decent fish now. Damn it, that was the best one of the day there. That is a, that is really annoying. I don't know how I'm, I don't know how they're coming off with these single hooks as well. Ah, damn. That's a big shame. Big, big, big shame. Yep, fish. This might be a mackerel. Yeah, probably mackerel. It's close in as well. This might be coley actually. Ah, that's a little pollock. Probably. Here we go guys, this one seems alright actually. I've got my drag a little loose, but yeah, this one seems alright. This is quite shallow in actually. Just casted right down in that gully. Alright. I really hope we can get this one in because I'd love to get another fish in to show you. Oh, come on, don't come off. This is digging quite hard actually. We're close in now, and um, there's a bit of a swell running, so I want to be a little bit careful. Oh, it's a nice pollock. It's a nice pollock. That's a big pollock, guys. No! No! Right at my feet, it's just come off. That was a big pollock. I really hope you got to see that fish, at least in the water. Oh, damn it. That was, that was a nice pollock. Damn! Oh. That, honestly, that breaks my heart, that does. All right then, guys. I've packed up the rod. I've got all my stuff together and I'm thinking that I'm going to head back along this uh, fairly treacherous journey home. So I'm going to get myself up to the top of this cliff and then maybe even fish another mark. We'll have to see. I've fished here for a long time now. The tide has started to back off a little bit so I'm hoping that it's going to be low enough so that I can actually get back along this ridge line. I'm very happy I've come down to this mark today guys. I'm very happy that I have made the effort to come out down here and I've had a good few hours of fishing down here now. So now we've got a real good idea of the type of fish that are down here, if there are fish down here and if it's worth coming back. And I think that it's safe to say that I'm definitely coming back. We have seen, what, four really nice fish on. I lost three of them, which is a little bit gutting, but I landed one pollock, which was probably the smallest out of the four decent fish that I had on. Yeah, I'm very happy with this mark though. I'm going to be down very soon again and we're going to have another shot down here and we'll give it another good, good, good fish because, yeah, there's clearly some really nice fish about. All right, I finally made it back to the car. I think I've been out for a total of 10 hours today. Got down at 11, it's now nine o'clock. So yeah, 10 hours worth. So quite a heavy day today. I did end up going down to that second mark there. I had probably pff, not more than 10 casts, to be honest. It was actually a trek down. I ended up probably going an extra half an hour for that, but whatever. So that's gonna be everything for the video today. This mark today that I went to, I'm definitely going to go back to. The amount of fish that I lost there shows me that there are definitely some worthwhile fish to go back down there for. I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Have a good until the next one, and I'll see you soon. One other thing, if you've got any suggestions of anything you want me to do, any ideas you got for this channel, stick them down in the comments below. I'll read them all, and I'll reply to as many as I can. I'll reply to all of them. So... Yeah, do that.